Disc golf can have a lot of ups and downs, and for professional disc golf, sometimes emotions run high. It may be a bad putt, or maybe a card made of yours is making you pissed off. Either way, sometimes disc golfers can get grumpy. We've got slammed discs, broken hands, and rule issues from the best of the best in disc golf. 10 moments when disc golfers were grumpy. Some of them really grumpy. Enjoy. All right, kicking it off with Ego McMahon on this one, 2019 Portland Open. This one I could feel for. No one likes missing a short putt, especially if it's to win. Ego would end up losing to Drew Gibson in a playoff after what happens here. This won't be the last time we see Ego in this video. Over the years, he's kind of been a hothead, and this sums it up. I bet you a lot of people can go look on how I reacted um, after I missed that putt. And of course, I'm not going to lie, my blood was absolutely boiling. I, I had such a hard time containing myself. You saw me elbowing my disc in the ground. I was doing cartwheels or whatever. Um, but afterwards, I, I know what I needed to do. I needed to storm off to the course and uh, I called my mental coach, Arthur Codington. The last one I can feel for, this one, not so much. Adam Hammes kind of had to come into him. When you miss a putt and react like this, that's what's going to happen. Disc golf baskets have feelings too. And when you beat on them like Hammes does, once in a while, a basket is going to fight back. Oh, and I laugh at this every single time. I can't get over it. It's really funny too. Adam here as well. So, man, this guy looked like the favorite after the resistance opened. The way he was playing up. What? That was so rude. Oh. So rude. That was dead center. That was gross. Everything but in. He can't believe it. I can't believe it. No! Did you <gasps> see that? Oh! Oh, no! No. 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 Way. No. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. That was gross. Everything but in. He can't believe it. I can't believe it. No! Did you <gasps> see that? Oh! This moment's got a couple of ups and downs for you. 2015 World's Masters event, Scott Stokely and Ken Climo. Now, you guys can be the judge for yourself on these foot faults. I don't really care about them. I just like how these guys get a little gassed up for what's about to happen. Usually, in these moments, the fault for getting angry or upset is solely on the player and what happened to them on their shot. For Stokely, it's like that. His reaction to things is perfect. He's allowed to have some emotions when things like this happen to him, and he handles it pretty great. Football. Oh, I agree. I agree. So you gotta get up to your mini. You gotta. So it's only a foot. Yeah. Did right. you watch that? Again. Where, where was my foot like? You're, you're not close enough. Hey, to you're the two feet God. behind you. You're your behind mini. it, but you are well, well. You're in the line with it, but you're yeah. two feet behind it. All right. Got okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hate to call that penalty on someone. Hey, I, I, am, am I arguing? You're this far away from your mini, man. Hey, you have to call it. Ken, drop it. I'm not arguing. Right, I know you. Danny, I got to call a football on that. Nico LaCastro, let's take a trip back to 2014 USDGC. A couple holes earlier than the moment we're going to be looking at. Nico is doing this. God damn it. So not a perfect round by any means, but Nico was still playing okay. Until this happens, I just love every moment about it. His body language, facial expressions. It's a classic Nico moment as he completely falls apart on one hole. Ouch. Oh, Where's the basket at, dude? What the f where am I going short or long? Short. Uh, I gotta be there. Come on. Get in. Get in. He's back, Eagle McMahon, and look at that. We're going to stay right where we're at at USDGC just a couple years into the future. Eagle putts, and things don't go his way. Players have messed up. And he 
eagle from a knee. I don't know why he'd go to a knee. That was a hard punch to the ground. Oh, no, eagle. Save your throwing hand. All right, do it with the other hand if you're going to do it, son. Yeah. Get, gotta get that proper punch technique in there. After this happened, Eagle would make the lead card for the final round and play with a partially broken hand. All taped up, he was unable to throw backhands and instead chose to play the round forehand only, really backing off on it. One of Eagle's chances to win a major that he fell short on, this time due to his frustration that caught up to him, big time. Time for some ruling issues again. This one though, with a fan favorite in Nate Sexton. Again, I love these kinds of clips. Nate has a solid reason to react the way he does, and it's not overreacting, it's just a little bit of being grumpy, which is again fine in this kind of situation. I really like Sexton's demeanor. He just has a way about him when conflict arises, there's no backing down. One of my favorite Nate moments. I don't know where the line is on this one, but it should say, I would, I'm assuming it says, I don't think it's probably in, but I would love to hear the reasoning why there's no line or just have someone who knows what they're talking about be around. I agree. Because he said the order was like line, banner, then natural, but that's none of these. Nobody's here is, is basically what we're hearing. What if you landed on top of it? It shouldn't be. You wouldn't think it'd be in, but hey, someone just play it professional. I mean, sure. Yeah, just play it. Sure. Take a picture of short and Steve. I don't think you're allowed to do that. No. Yeah, you can. Really? Yeah. No. I don't. I don't do a picture, but not video. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Macbeth has a couple moments that I've thrown together, and they all have one thing in common. When Macbeth gets angry, Macbeth folds discs like a pancake. And it's really funny because bye bye disc when you get angrily squished like this. Enjoy. Velcro. So Macbeth now from. Did his engine just get revved up? Did he just start his engine? <laughs> Let's see, from 50 feet. No, I've never really had no, a chance. That was the park ranger. Well, that one's done. <laughs> Pulled that in half like a taco. Yeah. He's not going to be disappointed Mac with that. No, here's Macbeth for his par. Er, yeah, for his par. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he's... Looks like he's going to have a taco for dinner. <laughs> I don't think that putter will fly the same. Adam Hammes returns this one a few levels to it. It's hard to get a sense of how upset Adam Hammes is in this moment, but what actually makes it all better is after Hammes does what he does, Simon Lazat makes it all better with a joke. Hammes and Lazat, the tag team duo of comedy. Oh, 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 and he's gone low, and that's going to be OB. He looks right at his fingers. That's an unfortunate mistake there for Adam. He's not happy at all. At all. In fact, turning the camera around. Yes, and as we see, Simon's second on that's the card. Got to fight back and oh no, boy simon oh boy now it all has changed up. <laughs> <laughs> if you take anything away from this video it's about knowing the rules of disc golf if you want to compete the sport is set up in one sentence benefit goes to the player i've seen plenty of people use that to their advantage and that's not even what this is about this moment right here with katrina allen it's just about common sense that makes this clip so funny she's losing about 50 feet from where she actually went in I know we watched, but we all watched my disc go out of bounds, though. But if, if you if you throw your disc in a pond and you can't find your disc, you can give yourself a lie. That's not true. That's not how the rule works. I agreed with that foot. 
Our whole group agreed with that spot. So if I throw my disc in the lake and we don't retrieve it, then I have, guys, uh, a lost disc? No, you know that this one, however, as long as the car is in the green. That's what I just said, so why would you? Well, a little frustration and also some rules discussion. And indeed, it is the case that if you know it went OB, and they, and they do know it went OB, Got to end it with the best, worst disc golf grumpy person moment possible ever in the sport. Nico LaCastro versus an official at the European Open, resulting in a suspension. The outburst scene here is definitely the worst one in today's top 10. In today's 10 moments when disc golfers were grumpy, Nico just has a way with people, a way of turning them against him. I'm still a fan, always will be, but I doubt this official likes him. A few months ago, Nico LaCastro um, will be called for a time violation here. So he was out of bounds off the tee, so this was his third. We ended up seeing his par putt, which he missed. Right. And so what happens here? He gets called for a time Before this violation. round, so you have a penalty throw. What? You have a penalty throw. Why? Excessive time. Why? EDJ rules. Step away from me. Step back. Not missing? Nico, that's not a good look, man. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your favorite moments from today's clips of disc golfers. Was it when Hama slammed the disc basket or Macbeth pancaking discs? How about when Nico did Nico things? Those are my favorites. Like and subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.